Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Happy Masuja Day and it is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find well wherever you are. Back to our political discussion as usual. First and foremost, as we are all aware that Kindiki officially have confirmed to us that is the deputy president regarding Ashagwa is no longer being seen at Kuala event. I have seen Kithure Kindiki is the one receiving President Ruto. But there is something which is shocking me here in the news update. That High Court declines to lift orders barring Kithure Kindiki from assuming DP's office. Directs that applications filed by AG and National Assembly be added on October 22nd. The High Court have declined on Kindiki's plea to be sworn in as the new Deputy President in the Republic of Kenya. Yesterday, I told you very well that why do you think William Ruto's administration is rushing into Kindiki's swearing in and they are really concentrating on Kindiki's swearing in? It means that these people are after something. But I want to thank the court for always obeying the constitution because this is what we call Ruto, Ruto's administration is having intention to violate our constitution. He want to misuse the constitution and do whatever he feel like. Well, it is not bad to select the new deputy president. I don't disagree with that. I agree with that. And it is William Ruto's right to choose the one whom he wants to work with. But is he doing it constitutionally? If we must, uh, if 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 you see how things are being done, the Senate impeached Kithure Kindiki, uh, Gashagwa. Sorry, Ruto rushed into his inauguration, and it forced court to refuse that ceremonial. After the MPs had also impeached Kithure Kindiki. So, for us to reach a stage where the court have now declined Kithura Kindiki's swearing in, it means the direct applicants which was filed by the AG in this country has been postponed up to 22nd. Whether we, they are going to be well prepared to listen to this case. 22nd is Tuesday. If in any case Kithure Kidiki is going to be sworn in or not. But there are some rumors saying that Kidiki must be sworn in on Tuesday, which is none of my business. But my main concern is, at the other side of regarding Ashagwa's people, are they satisfied? Ruto wants just to go to fix regarding Ashagwa and do away with what we call regarding Ashagwa presentation at the court. And this target is placed that Kithura Kindiki is sworn in immediately, he take the oath and start working. It means that Kindiki is now even working. So Kindiki is serving two offices, if I'm not wrong, from, from whatever I'm seeing according to William Ruto. There are several people in this government who are being paid twice. It is like uh, the former interior, Fred Matiang, if you recall. He was serving as the CS of education and also the interior. Do you recall that? Before Uru resuffle and choose another cabinet secretary. But anyway, of the, of Uru was totally defined. 
Here comes a scenario. Even the AG is against whatever Ruto's administration is after. Why should they come together? Listen to our people who also control the constitution. There is no one beyond the laws. Today you have that plan to rush on Kithura Kindiki's ceremonial or ceremony. Then why you must now come out clearly and tell Kenyans what is your intention as a president. You have disagreed with your former deputy president. The MPs have gone to an extent of even impeaching him the same way to the Senate. Which way forward are Kenyans expecting you to handle such kind of a situation? Are you going to handle it arrogantly? Kenyans are watching and they know the constitution. They follow the constitution. The problem with our president is that he always rush into things with a target. And that is why he is interested on Kithure Kindiki's swearing in yesterday. And he will ensure that Kindiki to be sworn in as soon as possible in order to forget all this whatever plan regarding Ashagwa is having even at the court. He is very sharp and he won't even court to dilate regarding Ashagwa's uh, presentation. That is what this man is after. But all is vanity, as I used to tell you. Just do for do some do do good for someone and go. In this world, even if you try your level best to perform your duties well, there are those who are going to become your enemies. But uh, what are your take? Because if the if the sorry sorry if the edgy. is now demanding that this plea to be heard on 22nd. It means that if William Ruto is planning to swear in Kithure Kindiki Tuesday, then they are violating our constitution. They have, they, 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 are, they, have, they have destroyed our constitution. That is what might happen. The second thing, regardless men are also going to be annoyed and they are not going to be happy. So I think, according to me, let the court decide and give Rigadi Gashagwa time. The same way, Kindiki also should buy a time and listen to whatever the court will decide. But why are they just after, oh, this and that and that? It means that these people are just placing Kithura Kindiki there with the, with the name of the deputy. But all powers is going to be given William Ruto and that is what is happening. He's the one controlling it. He's not going to allow the deputy, his new deputy to run the office as he wants. Maybe Rigadi Gashagwa at that time to run the office with his thorax. That is why Ruto was against this. Let us forget about all those things they have said about Rigadi Gashagwa Mutuet. But when you look at this constitutionally and even you look at this politically, it is William Ruto's interest to change his new deputy. Anyway, drop your opinion at the comment section below and I wish you all the best. Thank you and may God bless you. Kindly subscribe, like my videos, watch, share and give us your opinion. Bye bye.